All right, so to get to orders, let's go over to the dojo at what we're doing here. So we're gonna be working over here. We're gonna be looking uh, over here and we wanna click on this first navigation. Now, once we open the navigation, what you're gonna see is it's going to expand and it's gonna give us all of our order data. It's going to tell us how many orders that we have um, in our uh, Shopify store. It's also gonna give us two drop downs. It's gonna give us, us access to drafts, which I'll go over second. Um, and then it's gonna be give us uh, access to abandoned cart checkouts so that we can go see what the abandoned cart checkouts are for our store. Um, it's also going to give us this black bar across the top. So the black bar across the top is real-time statistics of what's going on on your store. So if you're doing a flash sale, maybe you are doing some sort of marketing push, you can see right up top how things are going. You can change whether you want it to just today, um, the last 30 days, or last seven. It's just a, a quick view of what's happening on your store. Now, in the top right, uh, we have the option to export. You'll need to select all of your orders. So hit that button there. Uh, a couple contextual menus will come up, which would allow you to do some bulk actions. So say you wanted to create shipping labels. Maybe you wanted to mark all of them as fulfilled. Maybe you wanted to capture payments for all of them. We could do that. Or you could go to more actions, print packing slips, archive orders, Unarchive orders, if you've archived the one or move them back. Add tags, so say you wanted to add a, a group tag to your orders or remove those specific tags, you could do that. But if you wanted to select that and then you can hit the export button, it gives you the option. You can go and, let me just zoom in here so you guys can see it nice and close. Uh, you can export your current page. So exporting the current page is just the listings that you have selected. Uh, or not, not selected, but are just on that page, the ones that are showing. Um, all orders, that's going to export every single order in your Shopify store. Uh, now keep in mind, if you have a number of orders, say you've been running your store for a number of years, this one can take a little while. It's not gonna be instant. So if you hit all orders and you have 10,000 plus orders in there, give it some time and they will deliver. They, what they will do is e they will deliver it by email. And in that email, there'll be a link that you can go and download uh, a CSV file. You can do uh, the selected 20 orders. Um, if there was orders in there um, that matched your search, you could select that, um, or you could do orders by date. And if you go orders by date, you now can go and select uh, which orders you need to add there. This is actually a new one in there. I hadn't seen this one. Uh, this must've been rolled out in the summertime. Next, we can decide how we want to get this. We can get this by CSV for Excel or numbers or any other spreadsheet program. CSV is a comma separated value. It's a, it's a universal standard which allows you to uh, move things between programs. Basically, it's a fancy Excel spreadsheet. Actually, it's not a fancy Excel spreadsheet. It's a very simple Excel spreadsheet. It has no formatting or anything in there. Or you can just go um, as a CSV file. Um, okay, so that is the export. Um, that's the export history. Um, now, if you wanted to export transaction histories, you can do that as well. Um, the export transaction histories will allow you to export credit card information and stuff like that. So we're gonna hit cancel. Um, and then we're gonna go through the rest of the items on this page. So between the top bar here, the um, the, the live things that are happening on your store uh, and the filter orders sheet, you have these different tabs. So you have unfulfilled, you have unpaid, you have open, and you have closed orders. And these are built-in saved filters. So these are added by Shopify. You can't change them, they're there by default, um, but you can add to them. So say for example, we wanted to add in here a, well, these ones are all sample data. I believe I've added one here called, let's go filters, select filter, and I wanna grab one that is tagged with, and then I wanna select a tag, and I believe I have one in here called final, sale. I do. All right. So I can go tag with final sale and it's going to save my search. As you can see, it's cleared out the uh, orders that don't match my criteria. But if I wanted to have a tab at the top that always brought in orders that were final sale, I could then go over here to save as, and I can save it as a view name. So we're going to call this final sale. We'll hit save, and you can see now a tab is shown across the top, which allows you to 
quick quick click to a final sale. So you can go, okay, I've got all my orders here, but you know what? This is something I check every day. I wanna make sure that I can go to it quickly without having to go in here and go to filter and all that sort of stuff, and I go to final sale. Now you can do that with any of your filters. So you can have a very complex filter search where you have you know, tagged with order number between this date, this date, this date, and, it's, and then save it as a view across the top. Couple of other things that you have options too. You have your columns. So um, you can add additional columns. You can't add all the columns in there, but these are the most common columns they're gonna add. You've got orders, date, customers, totals, payment status, fulfillment status, items, delivery method, tags, return labels, and return status are the different ones in here. And then if you hover over top of them, you can actually change the order in which they show up on the page. So hovering over them will give you the context so you can say, oh, actually I want customer to come before date. Um, and once you've done that, um, if you zoom out here, uh, it will move customer before date. Say you wanted to make sure that customer was after date, let's move it up there and you can see the things flipping back and forth, right? Uh, we have sort options. We have a number of sort options in here. Again, order number, date, customer payments, fulfillment status, label status, and total whichever you wanna do if you wanna search it. These become super helpful if you wanted to like uh, figure out what orders you're working with and then you wanted to export them and you just wanna export your current view. But obviously if you export them, you can use all of the search features and the, and the, uh, the filter features of something like Excel. All right, um, save as, we've gone over that. That's for the tab at the top. And then on the right hand side, we can go and actually create a view. So if we go create a view, this is just gonna create a view um, up from our current selection. So let's go sample. Uh, let's actually, let's, <laughs> let's spell it right, sample. And then this would be our, our current view. Um, Honestly, I don't know why um, that view is in there. Uh, I mean, you can you can create a view from the, the filter place if you wanna hit save, but that's how you would go and add your view in there. All right, I'm gonna delete that view because we don't need that view in there and we're gonna get rid of it and away we go. And that is an overview of the order dashboard page. Now in the next module, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dive into an actual order. We're gonna go through everything on an order page. Um, wanted to get you familiar with the order dashboard so that when we come back to it, you know exactly what is happening there. All right, next one up is to go through orders.